Daniel, you've got to be relatively happy with the way things have gone today, haven't you? Yes, overall you have to say clean sheet uh, draw in the first leg of the playoffs in a difficult away game. Uh, Carroll Road, obviously a difficult place uh, to come. Uh, it's always a good and solid uh, solid result uh, because we have the advantage uh, with our home f supporters then uh, at Elland Road on Thursday. Um, it was important to return back to really good defending behaviour. They didn't have one chance out of the game. Obviously, uh, they are really good in set piece, but we also dealt uh, really well with it, especially in the first half. Second half, we gained more and more control over the game, and you could feel goal is coming. But we also had to make sure that we are not overdoing this in, in all the excitement that we wanted to score and, and open then too many spaces for counter attacks. Uh, we didn't, and then you have to take the uh, the draw. Overall, a solid solid result, but still 50-50. Lots of work to do, and we have to be on it again on Thursday. Do you feel you should have had a penalty very early in the game? During the game, I, I felt this. So after what you've seen back, probably it's a foul started outside, and then inside the penalty box, he, he touched the ball. Um, I would say it's definitely definitely a free kick then, uh, perhaps not a penalty. But I was uh, very unhappy with the, with the offside goal. I think mm. someone told me Sky used the used picture and said, yeah, it's clear offside. If you have the scouting feet and you have a look on it, it's definitely uh, on one height. And you have also the rule, yeah, if you're in doubt, then it's more like, come on, in, in favor of the attacker. Yes, but for that, yeah, I know, difficult, difficult away game for the fourth assistant. And perhaps he was a bit scared to get some moans. Uh, from the stadium, so I was annoyed because it was a decisive situation. If you go in lead one nil, it changes uh, the picture picture completely. Um, pretty pretty unhappy with this situation because this was a decisive moment, and in such a game, you also can't say yeah it can happen. It's more like in such a game, everyone has to be on the top level. Yeah, also, yeah, also the the assistant who needs to see this it was not too difficult to see, I think. Um, but overall, what should we do? So we uh, we take the the draw and have to make sure that, yeah, we win the game at uh, at Elland Road in order to earn the place uh, in the Wembley final. Uh, I think you have to earn the right to play, don't you, in these sort of games? And I thought yes. the first 20, 25 minutes, we did well, really well. And after the confidence came back, mm. I thought we controlled that second half extremely well, and it was very, very comfortable. Yes, exactly. So we had uh, also respect uh, because Norwich went into this game obviously with euphorism. Um, they spoke about yeah, pressures a bit more on Leeds, big club who finished on position three. We won whatever, nearly 20 points more than them. Uh, they played with excitement, and, and our last results were obviously not that great. We have a pretty young side, and obviously um, they didn't play on their full confidence level. We need to gain this confidence in the, in the first minutes by being rock solid and getting more and more command. And this is what we. Uh, what we did then over the game and for that I think we have a good basement situation uh, right now for Thursday but uh, job is not done. Not done yet. I guess the guys you've, you mentioned a young team there's an element of playing with your heads in the second game as well isn't there? Well it's it's also important to uh, to be smart uh, in uh, in this situation and, and, and also not overdoing things and also uh, not to be too nervous but also yeah, especially a few s situations close to the box and, and in the box when we could have finished, we played the pass. When we could have played the pass, we finished. Decision making was then perhaps not always spot on, otherwise, we would have probably won the game. But yeah, how should I blame Archie Gray if he doesn't take the first touch for a finish and then tries to go for the second touch? So it's, 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 we're not the finished end product. But for that, I have to say it was a pretty mature performance for that. Mm. And uh, I take this, uh, this draw and this clean sheet all day long. Well, I've told Glenn Kamara to shoot next time, OK? So he's going to get a shot in. I swear he's going to get a shot in. <laughs> OK, yeah, hopefully it works then as well. <laughs>